Ever wondered why the Golden State is losing its shine? What is the current crisis in California all about? Well, let's dive in. California, once the beacon of the American dream, is now grappling with an escalating array of issues. The first among these, and perhaps the most visible, is the homelessness crisis. The state's streets and parks have become a refuge for countless souls who have nowhere else to go. This crisis is a stark reminder of the growing wealth disparity and the failing social security systems. Then there's the surge in shoplifting and looting. It's not just about petty theft anymore. Organized groups are openly looting stores, leaving business owners and employees in a state of fear and insecurity. What's more troubling is the apparent lawlessness. Thieves are caught but are swiftly released, creating a cycle of crime that seems to have no end. In addition to this, the state is witnessing an alarming increase in drug-related deaths, particularly due to fentanyl. This lethal drug has found its way into the hands of vulnerable individuals, resulting in countless tragedies. The migrant crisis is another critical issue. The state, known for its cultural diversity, is struggling to manage the influx of migrants, leading to a strain on resources and escalating tensions. And there's an exodus happening. A mass number of residents are leaving California, seeking better living conditions elsewhere. This mass departure is causing a ripple effect with a large number of stores closing down, further impacting the state's economy. The tax burden on the residents is another concern. With state tax, social security tax, and other taxes piling up, residents are feeling the financial squeeze. Lastly, but certainly not least, the state is grappling with deeply divided political and social ideologies. This division is creating a sense of unease and uncertainty about the future of California. The crisis is more than just a single issue. It's a cascade of problems that has led to the present situation. And so, the once golden state is now facing a crisis unseen in its history. But understanding these issues is the first step towards finding solutions. So let's delve deeper, shall we? To understand the crisis, we need to delve into the history of each issue. Begin with homelessness. The roots of this issue trace back to the 1980s, when federal funding for affordable housing was slashed by more than half. This, combined with a rise in income inequality and a lack of mental health support, set the stage for the crisis we see today. Next, let's consider the surge in crime rates. The roots of this can be traced back to policy changes in the judicial system, such as the catch-and-release approach, which has arguably made it easier for criminals to reoffend. The underlying issues of poverty and lack of education also play a significant role. Then, there's the drug crisis. The widespread availability of powerful opioids like fentanyl, coupled with a lack of effective drug education and treatment options, has fueled a deadly epidemic. Moving on to the migrant issue, we see a combination of factors at play. The promise of the American dream, the search for safety and stability, and the need for labor in certain sectors have all contributed to an influx of migrants. The reasons behind residents leaving California are multifaceted. High living costs, increasing taxes, and socio-political dissatisfaction have led many to seek greener pastures elsewhere. Store closures, too, have historical roots. Online shopping trends, high operational costs, and more recently the impact of the pandemic have all played a part. The tax burden on residents has been steadily increasing over the years. State taxes, social security taxes, and other levies have been on an upward trajectory, making California one of the most taxed states in the country. Finally, the political divide. California's history is marked by a deep-seated ideological divide that has only deepened over time. This has led to a polarized society with differing views on how to address the state's issues. Each issue is a thread in the fabric of the crisis, woven over time. Fast forward to today and what do we see? California, the Golden State, is facing a multitude of challenges, each one intertwined with the other, creating a complex web of issues that affect everyday life. The homelessness crisis is more visible than ever. Streets lined with tents and makeshift homes have become a common sight in cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco. It's not just a concern for the homeless themselves, but also for the residents who navigate these streets daily. The crisis is a stark reminder of the widening wealth gap and the increasing cost of living. Shoplifting and looting have surged, shaking the confidence of store owners and consumers alike. 
The catch and release policy, meant to reduce the prison population, has instead created a sense of lawlessness, with thieves often back on the streets shortly after being caught. The drug problem is equally alarming. The increasing number of fentanyl-related deaths points to a deep-seated issue of drug addiction and mental health that needs urgent attention and resources. The migrant crisis further strains the state's resources. California, with its diverse population and opportunities, has always been a beacon for migrants. However, the influx, coupled with the state's existing crises, has led to a strain on the infrastructure and social services. Residents are leaving California in droves, seeking greener pastures. High taxes, cost of living, and the state's handling of the crises are often cited as reasons for the exodus. Stores are closing down, unable to cope with the increased thefts and shrinking customer base. This not only impacts the economy, but also the sense of community in neighborhoods. Lastly, the tax burden on residents is heavy. State tax, social security tax, and other levies all add up, making California one of the highest tax states in the country. The present scenario is a reflection of the compounded issues that have been simmering over time. The Golden State is at a crossroads and its future depends on how it navigates these challenges. Perhaps one of the most pressing issues is the ever-increasing tax burden. Imagine, if you will, a Californian resident. Let's call him John. John works hard, earns a decent wage, but he's finding it increasingly challenging to make ends meet. And why is that? Well, it's because of the taxes he's obliged to pay. Firstly, there's the state income tax. California has the highest state income tax in the nation, topping out at a whopping 13.3% for the highest earners. For John, who falls into the middle income bracket, he's paying a significant 9.3% of his income to the state each year. Then there's Social Security tax. This is a federal tax, and it's set at a flat rate of 6.2% for employees. For John, this is another chunk of his paycheck gone before he even sees it. But wait, there's more. John also pays a sales tax on the goods and services he buys. In California, this tax can be as high as 10.25%, depending on the county. So when John goes to buy groceries or a new pair of shoes, he's paying additional money on top of the listed price. And let's not forget the property tax if John is lucky enough to own a home. The average Californian homeowner pays about 0.74% of their home's value each year. For John, who owns a modest house valued at $500,000, this means an additional $3,700 annually. Add it all up and you begin to understand the weight of the tax burden on Californians like John. It's not just a matter of a few extra dollars here and there. These taxes significantly affect the quality of life and financial stability. The tax burden is not just a financial strain, but also a factor fueling the mass exodus. Californians are voting with their feet, moving to states with lower tax rates in search of a more affordable cost of living. The impact of these taxes is far-reaching, affecting not only individuals, but also the overall economic health of the state. A state divided cannot stand. But what has led to this deep divide in California? You see, California is a melting pot of a multitude of political and social ideologies, each with its own unique perspective on the issues at hand. This rich diversity, while being the state's strength, has also become a source of deep division. On one side of the spectrum, you have those who advocate for progressive social policies, while on the other end, there are those who champion conservative fiscal policies. This ideological tug of war creates a polarized environment, making it difficult to find common ground or consensus on how to address the many challenges the state faces. This deep divide is not just an ideological one, it has real-world consequences. It's exacerbating the crisis, creating a deadlock in policymaking and slowing down the pace of change. The deep divide is not just ideological, but it is also adding fuel to the raging crisis. So what does this all mean for the Golden State? In essence, California is grappling with a multitude of interconnected issues. A homelessness crisis, rampant shoplifting and looting, a troubling catch-and-release policy, a devastating drug problem, a migrant crisis, and a mass exodus of residents. These issues are compounded by the closure of businesses and a burdensome tax system. The state's deeply divided political and social ideologies only add fuel to the fire, making it challenging to find common ground and implement effective solutions. 
The current scenario is a stark reminder of the urgent need for comprehensive strategies that address each issue individually, while also considering their collective impact. A solution will require a delicate balance of empathy, enforcement, and economic support. A failure to act could lead to further deterioration of the Golden State's social and economic fabric. The crisis in California is a complex web of issues, each needing urgent attention and resolution.